Hello, I'm Steve Rossetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director. And here we are on the welcome screen for Power Director 14. A new feature been added to Power Director here in its most recent iteration is something called the Theme Designer. Now, the Theme Designer is very similar to Express Project, which we look at in another tutorial on our website. But the Theme Designer gets even more intricate, gives you even more control over creating a movie based on templates that are already in the program. So I'm going to launch. You notice that it opens up here into the full feature editor. In order to get to the theme designer, just go over to the plugins, which are at the top of the media room under this puzzle piece. Click on this, and select theme designer. Now the theme designer actually opened, if you didn't notice here, one set of windows, which is sort of our composition area, and then a sequence window on top of that. And this sort of sequence template area is where you begin to put together the pieces that will form your movie. Now, you see that they are openings, middles, closings, and entire themes at once. So for instance, there's an action theme, Facebook theme, a film strip theme, a notebook theme. I'm just gonna select down here, Wallet of Media. And Wallet of Media, as you can see, has some great templates here. It's gonna use several pieces of media at once. Now I could select Wallet of Media and it would give me the openings, middles, and closings for an entire movie. Just to keep it simple, I'm just going to work with the opening right now, so I'll just check that by hovering over it until I see a checkbox and clicking it. If you select this checkbox, it's going to give you the entire movie template. For right now, I'm just going to work with the opening. And when I click OK, it takes me here into the actual theme designer where my template has room for four videos. And you can see here on this thumbnail, it shows two, three, and four, but there's actually a one in there also. And I can just simply drag media from my media room, which is represented along the left side of the designer here, into the placeholders. So for instance, I can drag this into there, this into here. Now, if your video clip is too short, you make a little warning. It says that it's too short, but there we go. Four different clips in there. And then if I want to preview, what this looks like, I can click the play button. So there's the first clip. And as you can see, it creates a whole animation where it incorporates all the clips we dropped into the placeholders. Now you can make this as crazy complicated as you want. You heard it has music automatically added to it. You can simply fill in titles here. So I can call this Florida and call this Meeting Jason as sort of our subtitle for it. And it is by default over a black background, as you can see. We'll just sort of scrub through it here. It's over a black background. I can change that background uh, simply by clicking on the Replace Background button here. And I can use as my background, for instance, a photo. Or I could, if I wanted, use a color swatch or something, but I'm gonna just select a photo in this particular case. That's going to be my new background. And now you see my animation is going to play over that still photo background. I could also put uh, a video background in there. Then I've got a lot more motion too. The point is that you've got these templates, many of them, which you can reopen at any time by clicking on this little plus button, add more sequences and go back and you can grab these templates and build some pretty imaginative uh, video sequences. In fact, if I were to select, for instance, this sequence from the action set of templates and add it. Now I've added a second sequence. So we've got that sort of cool animation with those four clips. Now I've got room for a couple of more here. So let's go ahead and just drag some clips into there. To fill that out. Now, if I haven't got enough clips here in my um, media room, I can of course go to import media and it'll take me back out to my um, explorer and I can actually grab more clips that are out on my hard drive to add to here. So you're not limited to what's already in your media room. Now, once they've all filled in, I do have some other options in here. You notice that if I hover over any one of these clips, I can choose to make it a freeze frame rather than the actual video. And if it's a longer sequence, I also have the option here to trim it. So if I select that pair of scissors, 
it opens up the sequence here in my trimmer and I can decide, well, I want it to begin here and end here. Isn't this cool? This is amazing how many options you have in here. In addition, we can apply effects to any of the clips. So for instance, if I want to just make some of these black and white, I can just drag that effect. You won't see it immediately on the thumbnail, but as the video plays, you'll see that the video comes in here as black and white. So if I click OK, it's going to generate now, uh, based on that little theme designer, it's going to generate my movie. Now I can watch it here on my preview panel and that I can make much larger so I can get a better view of what the whole movie looks like. Let's just move these panels around a little. There we go. Let's see how this sequence looks created in the theme designer. So pretty cool. It's adding the animation. It's got music in there. going from one sequence to the next. Pretty, pretty cool. If I want to re-edit it, I can just double click on it here on the timeline, or I can click on it once and select the theme designer button here at the top of the timeline. Well, once I do, I'll get a little warning. It says, if you made any edits here, this is going to undo them. We'll say, yes, that's okay. And it opens back up in the theme designer where I do have the option of continuing to edit or rearrange or uh, remove or replace whatever I want to do to create my theme sequence. If you want to know more about this program, be sure to check out our tips and tutorials here at moviepix.com. And if, if you want to know everything about this program, be sure to check out the books, moviepix.com guides to CyberLink Power Director. They're available, those books are available at amazon.com as well as on our website at moviepix.com. Steve Brizetti, thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon.